Hi everyone, I'm Pranit from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. In today's session, we will talk about how to configure address verification properties for the verifier asset in CDQ. In today's session, we will talk about what is the use of a verifier asset and how to configure AV properties in CDQ AV property set. The primary use of the verifier asset is to evaluate the accuracy and deliverability of an address record. Additionally, it can also be used to retrieve enrichment data like geocodes and global or country specific enrichments. We can also use the verifier asset to verify address as per respective country's certification standard. To use the verifier asset, first we have to configure the AV properties in the CDQ AV property of respective secure agent. Few of the properties that needs to be set. The first one is the license file directory. Second one is the reference data path. Then we have preloading, max memory, max number of jobs, whether to download SAS file or not, and then the parallel execution instance. Now we will proceed towards the demo. To edit the AV properties, we have to first log into the administrator and then select the runtime environment to which we want to make the changes. Here we need to click on edit and then select the service as data integration server and the type as CDQAV. Here the first property is license file directory path. This is the path in which we have to place the physical license key. The second property is reference data directory path. This is where all the reference files will be automatically downloaded during runtime. The next properties are the preloading properties. We have three types of preload, full, partial and no preload. We can use either of this property to set the preloading option for a specified country. Here I have set no preload for USA. So to do that, I have to enter the country 3 ISO of that country within single quotation marks. The next property is max memory in megabytes. So the value of this property determines the maximum amount of memory that is available for the AV engine for its operation as well as for preloading. So if you want to preload the files for many countries, you have to set a higher value. The next property is maximum number of results. This property determines the maximum number of addresses that a node in a runtime environment can return in a single thread. The default value is 10. The next property is download SAS data. The SAS data is the special certification files for USA and the default value is set to no. So you can set the value of download SAS data to yes and download the SAS files for USA only if the runtime environment is on a US server. The next property is certified report location. This is the location to which the secure agent downloads the certified report. This can be used only when you run the verifier in certified mode and configure to generate a report. And the last property is maximum execution instances with the default value of 5. This is the maximum number of verifier jobs which can run at a given point in time. For more details, you can refer to the verifier asset guide. We would love to hear your feedback. You can reach us on supportvideos at informatica.com or on our Twitter handle. Thank you.